few days ago, I made a video about the platform for the bed I'm going to use when I take my Tiguan out camping. And I've got a couple of other things that I've purchased along the way so far, but I haven't tried them all out yet to see if they're actually going to work. So before I go buy a bunch of camping equipment and things that I want to do to modify the car, um, I figured it would probably be a good idea to take it out, put it together, see what it looks like. That's what we're going to do today. This is the bed that I made, and it's designed specifically for a couple of things. I'm going to take this out of the way for just a minute. I wanted it to be, I wanted it to fit between the wheel well and this seat. So it's about 25 inches wide, and it comes down here to almost the edge, leaves me plenty of room for the door to close. And as you can see, I've got the front seat pulled all the way up, and it will lean forward out of the way. And that allows plenty of room here at the front. So I could even pull this up closer if I wanted to. One of the reasons I've set this up this way is because I hope to put an awning here on the side of the roof rack that will come out here over the over past the car. So that in case it's raining, I have a place to get in the car out of the rain. I can leave this seat up so that I can take my shoes off down here at the bottom and then climb into bed when I'm ready to do that. And you saw in the last video already, <clears throat> the rubber mat that I bought to put down to sort of make this piece of wood a little bit softer to sleep on. And then I've been looking for um, sleeping bags at REI, at Walmart, Academy, and uh, Dick's Sporting Goods and other places. And while I was looking around upstairs at my mom's second floor, I found this sleeping bag in the closet. I don't remember if it belonged to me or one of my kids, but it saves me from having to buy one. We'll see how it works out when I put it out today. And what you have not seen yet is these items from WeatherTech. I bought these. Supposedly, they're supposed to fit my Tiguan, my 2019 Tiguan. And what they are... Uh, dark covers to fit over all of the windows in the car so that um, if I'm somewhere where I need privacy to sleep, I need to block out the, you know, if there's a street lamp or something over me in a parking lot somewhere and I need to block that out, I can block everything out into pitch black, but I haven't tried them on the windows yet. And what do you know? It fits. Okay, now it's time to see about climbing in. No, I'm not getting undressed. <laughs> I'm going to take my coat off. I'm going to take my shoes off, climb in, and see what it feels like to lay down with all the doors closed. Ordinarily, I should be getting in from the other side. But today, to save time, I'm getting in from here. And... One of the reasons I did not make this bed frame very high, I didn't want to sur I didn't want to store anything under it. Um, but I also did not want to uh, diminish the space between me and the top there. So I still have a door open. My mistake, but. If I do lay down here, I am stretched out to the max. I still have plenty of room. In fact, if I go down all the way to the door, I have this much room left as far as headroom goes. So it's still going to feel like sleeping on a piece of plywood. And maybe I'll get a, an inflatable mat to go under it here at some point. But this is workable. Well, the day was an interesting event for a number of reasons. So 
I took the car over to the Walmart parking lot so I'd have a nice flat surface and I didn't have any problem worrying about people driving by wondering what the crap I'm doing. So that was good. The, the other thing was, and I, I don't have it with me, but I, I was trying out a new microphone, um, another cheap microphone. I didn't really like it, so I'm not going to talk about it much, uh, uh, but I'm, I'm going to keep trying to find one I like since I burnt the other one. But what I what I wound up with when I got home and I laid out all the clips, I realized that I could just not stop talking. Every single clip had me saying something in it, so there was no there was no B roll. It was all focused A roll, and the video was thirteen or fourteen minutes long before I put this ending on it. So. I was I think I was I, I was thinking about whether I should post it or not, and then I was sitting in the dentist chair getting my teeth cleaned, <laughs> and I thought, you know, here's what I got to do. I got to I got to find some of these really long clips. I got to drop all the audio out of it. I got to cut it down to next to nothing, and lay it over another audio track because that's the purpose of making these videos is learning how to incorporate b-roll i gotta re-edit the video and so it went from about 13 minutes down to five minutes it's a much better clip i won't bore you with the original one so i did learn that i, I can salvage things through creative editing and i don't have to just settle for what i had and uh, anyway, let me know what you think. Even if you just want to let me know what you think about the camping setup. Um, I, it's still a work in progress, but I think it's going to work. Um, and when I get some more parts, we'll come back and make another video. I'll see you tomorrow.